Hi guys, welcome back to Brady Pat RC. Here we have a short video on a, uh, an unboxing of our recently purchased FTX four wheel drive brushed Banzai drift car. So let's have a look at the box. The box is pretty nice and loud with all the nice bright colours. Some good information there. Showing you the ins and outs and bits and bobs of the car there. And again, just like on most FTX um, models, we've got all the spec there, the weights, heights, and the little spec about the electronics and everything like that. Also, on the rear, other side, all again in French. Nothing on the ends of the box. But a pretty good uh, informative box there. Uh, quite like that. So what did we get in the box? Well, we've got a basic uh, with a Tamiya or Tamiya, however you want to pronounce it, plug, um, charger. We won't be using that. We'll be using our regular charger. Set of decals. Obviously what's left that hasn't been put on the car. Um, not much to work on really but uh, nevertheless they did chuck them in also we got the uh, instruction manual this one is in English again FTX they have a similar layout to all of their uh, instruction and or user manuals uh, pretty informative spare parts etc I won't bore you to death, but pretty good. They're normally pretty good. We've also got another one in French. They do seem to like to uh, just give you two options for languages, French and English only. But uh, that's the way they do things. Also, we got the uh, Etronics um, two channel, 2.4 gigahertz uh, pulse controller, flip up aerial, protective case for all your dials, all your trims, etc. These pretty uh, bog standard with most F FTX models, um, I do like the rubber on the wheel there, that does make the difference. So I have one of these controllers already for our um, FTX uh, Outlaw, so let's have a look at the car itself. Here's the car itself, nice bright red, appearance doesn't look too bad, the uh, cutting out of the body is not too great but not worried about that, it's our first drift car. Here we go inside then, We've, uh, as you can see on the wheels there we've already had a little run out with that, because um, we were a bit excited when it came. However, we've got the uh, aluminium front and rear shocks, seem quite nice. Hard plastic tyres, battery tray, ESC motor. A lot of people have said that um, go brushless, 3S, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how we get on with this. Um, but overall, not too bad, looks pretty uh, basic inside. I'm sure there is hundreds of upgrades out there. We'll certainly be looking into that. Nice uh, hard foam uh, bumper to protect inside. So I no doubt we will have a few bumps along the way while we're learning to drift. Someone did offer some advice already about locking the uh, rear diff to uh, stop the rear wheels working independently which would aid in uh, controlling drifts better but we'll look into that we'll see how we go with the four-wheel drive option um, see how we do with that and uh, we will have a look at the uh, lock in the rear disc just to see and then maybe we'll purchase some rubber tires as well loads of tire sets once we've had our fun with it and we're getting a little bored with it, uh, time for brushless, 
see what we can get out of this uh, Banzai. Let's go out and give it a try. wasn't a bad run out I can see what uh, one person was advising me on locking the rear diffs to make the drifts a little bit more controllable but however we need to get that out onto some smooth tarmac maybe a skate park um, might do a bit better on there other than block paving uh, but it didn't do too bad on block paving um, but again definitely going to look out for some uh, supermarket car parks or anywhere I hear Audis do nice car parks uh, with some nice tarmac services but we'll have a look and should do great I'd like to uh, I am pretty keen on going brushless already uh, it does seem quite a fast vehicle anyway I might go brushless soon Please leave your comments and links below if you've if you've got one or drift car or, or, or any description and what you've modified yours to for better drifting purposes anything like that um, love to hear everybody's ideas so um, have a good weekend happy drifting happy RCing don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe today please share as well the more support we get it's great I love doing these videos for everybody and yeah uh, Look forward to your comments. Have a good weekend.